I talked to Pauline just two weeks ago, shortly before she was taken ill again, and she explained why she went to Sierra Leone. I think it was difficult for everyone to, to see what was yeah. unfolding in the news, all the horrors that were going on out in West Africa. I'd done similar things before, so it was... It's, I could do it, so yeah. I did. Well, Richard Gaysford is at the Royal Free Hospital in London Forest, which is the hospital, of course, where Pauline is being treated. Richard, what's the latest on her condition? Well, doctors say that she is in a critical condition, uh, Lorraine. She's uh, certainly her condition has worsened considerably, they say, since she arrived here from Scotland. Now it's understood that she's back in the same isolation ward that she was at the start of the year, being treated by the same medical team, who, of course, at that point thought that they had cured her of Ebola. Back then, she was seen as a medical marvel. Now, something really of a medical mystery. Pauline Kafferke is is now the first known and recorded victim of Ebola. Relapse, and everyone's just trying to work out just how that has happened. There is a study out today that suggests that Ebola can stay in the human body for up to nine months. And with that in mind, not only is there concern for Pauline's health, but also for others too. Uh, 58 people who have had close contact with her over the last week or so have now been offered a vaccine. Uh, and 25 people have taken that vaccination, Lorraine. But there are experts we've spoken to today who say that people really shouldn't be worried about this, that it's just her that we should be concerned for at this point in time. No, we are very much so. Our thoughts with her and her family, of course, and we do wish her all the best.